I don't know how long this might be, but you guys left so much amazing feedback saying that you love the longer vlogs. The other one was like 30 minutes long, so I'm glad that you enjoyed it. We'll see how long this one lasts. Jump scare! I have already gone to the gym today, already had breakfast and whatnot. It's like 1 p.m. About to head out of the house to go run some errands, and then I am going to meet up with Adri. And I really wasn't planning to vlog, but I felt like yesterday I should have vlogged, and I didn't. So I'm just gonna bring you guys with me today. What's in my thing? And we'll see how the day goes. I wanted to give you an OOTD because I did buy a couple skims pieces you guys saw the pink outfit i think that was a good one i don't do color i don't do pink but that was fun oh yesterday ajazi and i actually got our nails done and you guys know this gave me an aneurysm we actually have an alani shoot coming up which i'll probably end up vlogging for you guys the theme is like bright nails and i couldn't just do my natural nude colors so this is very out of the box for me but i think that they're literally so precious and so cute i just chose to do different french tip colors and i haven't gotten my nails done at a salon in over two years so that was an experience i also got my toes done which i've only done once in my life and it was mariana and nikki taking me in houston which is so funny i live here now years ago before i was ever a gymshark athlete got white on those toes with some gel okay to give you guys a rundown everybody was like i hope your birthday was great and I did have a good birthday, I think. The only thing was that my grandma's funeral was on my birthday. Just poor planning, you know? It's okay. I feel like now I'm like getting into the birthday mood and everything, even though it's like February already. What made me think of my grandma was my jewelry. So I wanted to show you guys a few things. Added a couple new pieces. So I did bracelets that you can get. I got this for Tyra for her birthday and I just got one that twins with her. And this one is from my grandma. We got to go through some of her jewelry once she passed. And I was all about the gold jewelry. So I love this little chain. It is a little bit big on me, but I like it anyway. Same with this one. This one's actually from her little collection. Just has a little jewel on there. And then you guys have seen the herringbone chain. This little cross is from Target and then Shop OXB. Otherwise, I really got a hat out of the house. My shoulders are looking ripped. I didn't even do upper body today. This is the little Skims cat suit that I got as well as the new dress and that pink outfit that you guys saw all in the same order. It's literally so cute. There's a zipper that goes all the way up. So it low-key like really works for the booty. But all the way down, I have these Gymshark socks on that look like leg warmers. They're very thick and ribbed. And then my new balances, which I did just order brand new new balances. And that was a fun time. But I have a sweater in the car. I'm going to head out because I feel like I need to start my day and everything. We are here. I'm waiting on Adri and I am so excited because we were going to get sushi. Actually, originally we were going to get a seafood boil, but then we were like, mm, let's do pizza. We were going to do pizza, but turns out the specific pizza place that we were going to go to only has two locations and they don't open until five. But I had sent Adri this recommendation that Ajazi and I went to and it was the ramen place and it was so good. So she's like, let's just go there and see what it's about. So I'm here waiting for her and then we're going to go inside. And I think that it's perfect because it is a cold, chilly, rainy day. It's literally 39 now, which is unlike Houston, I feel like. They also have very affordable sushi. It's like $2 for a piece, which is like unheard of. So I'm excited. Just had a quick bite to eat and now I'm headed to Adri's to go record her podcast, which I don't think that I mentioned to you guys, but it is a podcast, so you guys definitely have to go listen to it. It's so cold outside. I'm turning the heat on, so I gotta I gotta say goodbye to you guys. I'll see you there. Love you. Bye bye. So surprise, this is hi hi. <laughs> oh, there's Pluto. I have my little mic here. Hey. Anyway, we're gonna get to podcasting. You already know what time it is. I'm home, I'm in my robe. I had so much fun just hanging out with Adri. And if you guys want to go listen to the podcast, it's already live. I'm just a talker. So we just talk about my entire life, basically. If you guys hadn't heard that before, I don't think that I've shared all of the details, honestly, on a podcast or I guess on my YouTube recently whatsoever. So it's interesting, it's fun. We giggle a lot and I just really enjoyed it. I stopped by the store because I have been struggling. You guys, I get this thing and it's, literally only happened like one or two other times in my life. The worst time was when I was graduating from high school. I had no voice. My throat was swollen shut. I had to go to three different hospitals because they didn't know what was wrong with me. I'm still pretty sure they don't know what was wrong with me because this is actually just like a symptom, not an actual issue. I get this thing called post-nasal drip. Some of you might have had it before. It's literally the worst ever and thankfully I have a voice. Thankfully my throat's not swollen shut but I have a lot of congestion and drainage. It basically in the middle of the night it will just seep down the back of your throat and I know that sounds disgusting but it essentially like dry 
dries out your throat so the very back of my mouth is just incredibly dry no matter how much water i drink or anything like that so I took like a mucinex earlier and i just got some flonase and some bedtime tea because jj made me some regular tea last night and i'm pretty sure it was caffeinated but it was the best that we could do with what we had stopped by the store got some yogi bedtime tea actually because we also didn't have honey i guess we had just run out i got the throat comfort one and then the soothing caramel bedtime i've been wanting to get into tea because i was obsessed with tea on our cruise because after the dinners they would serve it to you and i thought it was the best ever and it made me want to get in bed <sighs> So if I'm being honest, the power went out again, you guys. Is this just what happens in Texas because of the power grid thing? Um, it went out for like 30 minutes. So when that happens, I have no Wi-Fi, meaning like there's no service and then there's no service out here anyway. So that was a fun time. Good morning. It's time to make some matcha. Which cup today? Look at my cup. It's absolutely precious. So it has my name on here. And then all of these neutral little flowers and smiley faces, so cute. A girl had sent this to me. Her company is called Vivi's Design Co. Definitely check her out she's on etsy as well which i didn't know that she was setting a glass and when they got here i was so excited and then i saw my name it was precious i did have my tea yesterday in this little guy and we love it so much get on my matcha tools and i'm gonna add the slightest bit of chlorophyll i might as well just add a little chlorophyll to this because it doesn't have much of a flavor anyway all right ever since i tried matcha excuse me one moment i worked with matcha.com since then i've been obsessed i literally have this every single morning and it just makes me so happy i love the process but i'm such a matcha girl now so yes the power just cut off again oh my gosh okay oh Not sure why our power has to cut off. I think that's so disrespectful and rude. At least I made my matcha. It's so good. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Listen, I'm upstairs. I got my matcha. Life is good right now. I like the way that I have this sat, honestly. You can kind of see everything that's going on in here. But I did just get a new package at the door. And let me... This is the Bricks and Woods 9060 New Balance collab. And you guys, when I tell you that I was on the site ready to purchase these, I love them. They're so different. They're so funky. And when you actually have like a flashlight, they reflect in the dark. Oh, let me show you the box that they come in. 9060, it's the Bricks and Woods moment going on. I just think that this box is so dope. So I have my other 9060s back there that I am going to set these with. But they also come with extra laces if you want to switch them out because these laces are so insane. These are the ones that you can switch them with. And these are... Are just typical laces now the laces that are in here look at them literally fuzzy i like the little pop of green the thing that always catches my eye about 9060s is these little bubbles or they look like a hoof and i'm here for it i think that it's so cool and so dope love the colors of these and it was literally like the hunger games trying to get these i had the website open on my phone as well as my laptop i got in first on my phone i wanted to show you guys what i got from my friends in the mail for my birthday i finally have done something with this front area it's not much but it's honest work i have to figure out all of that i'm selling a bunch of our old furniture and whatnot but wit sent me these stunning flowers you guys they literally are so beautiful i sent her a picture and i said i'm crying and she's like is that a peony because i i don't know what a peony is but i had to google it and i said you know what it is and it's stunning perfect for valentine's day even though that's in a couple of weeks but so pretty so this is actually the console table that i had upstairs and i've turned it into our entry table but i just haven't done much with it you guys this candle smells so good it's from target it's called cypress and juniper from the threshold collection and i love it i got that and then of course wit's gonna send me real flowers because she's that type of girl marissa though she knows me well and instead of sending me real flowers she sent me a lego flower bouquet and i have avidly said like i don't care for the botanical legos i don't know why though i didn't really have a justification or a reason as to why i didn't love them but i felt like i wanted to get other pieces and i never would have bought this for myself and this is gonna be so fun for me to build i know everybody's like look what happened to your legos the tea is that we literally ended up moving so i had to pack everything up and stop what I was doing. I literally tore down like part of my tree house that I was building and I also just need to find a place to put them honestly. So shout out to Marissa for this. She's so funny for sending me Lego flowers to build instead of like real flowers for my birthday because that's very much a Libby thing to do and receive I think. Anyway I, I'm coming back because the idea of consumerism. You know what? Everybody posts what they buy online and I think that's fantastic and I love that for everybody. I am a purchaser of things but for me I think that I've just come to a point 
where I'm just like not interested in buying things that aren't functional and I do have a surplus of specific things like where I consume a lot and I think a lot of people can agree here is clothing now clothing is functional I know this sounds crazy as somebody who's sponsored by a clothing activewear company but I have rehomed so much of my stuff not because I don't love it but just because it deserves a better home and I do keep a lot of my pieces I know you guys are gonna be like well why do you have so much still obviously my job is to show you guys what products are coming how they fit on me what they look like on me so it's like this back and forth moment in my head where it's not like I want to just like stop doing my job because I love it I literally am passionate about showing you guys activewear and I love wearing it makes me feel empowered I feel most confident in activewear but I don't want you guys to think like Libby bought another pair of shoes that you have to buy what I have just because I have it and I am going through my shoes you guys would be very proud of me I am going through my shoes and I think I might posh mark them I'm not sure what the best like resell website is otherwise I am just donating things I suppose but I've really put in especially for 2023 I've put in my head that I want to be a lot more intentional with my purchases and yeah I might have just bought a second pair of shoes out of the exact same style but I really like them and I have gotten so much use out of my first new balances just like I keep wearing my APLs those are things that I feel like I'm getting a lot of use out of I don't know but I feel like I'm just in this this weird I feel like me as well as a lot of other people are in this space where it's like we get fed all of this consumer like friendly stuff and I know this does sound crazy as somebody whose job it is to obviously market but I, I don't want that to come across as fake to you guys I just want to be real with you and let you know where I'm coming from because I'm putting it in my head to be more intentional about the things that I'm purchasing like I want to have a house in the next few years I want to be able to provide for my future and my future kids and all of that stuff I, I think it's really hard online when we see that these people got X Y and Z and I constantly show you guys things that came in the mail but I'm doing a better job of recycling or I guess when something comes in more things go out and I think me organizing my house and my space and my clothes and things like that allows me to do that and that's something that I find fun and productive is going through my things and finding out what I don't need anymore I don't know I hope if somebody out there feels as though they're constantly being fed like you have to buy this at least from my perspective and I know as somebody that's doing this for a job it's hard to probably differentiate but I know times are weird right now especially like we're literally in a recession in the middle of inflation and I know that buying your favorite activewear is not top priority it's probably bills and food that's why with my monthly giveaways I love to just send you guys money for bills because I know that it's more than just social media I know that it's more than a gift card and while you guys like to make your purchases just like I do it's nice to know that somebody else acknowledges like we do live in the real world and it's a scary place right now and bills have to be paid and rent is expensive anyway I don't even know if I articulated that well but I'm doing a better job of obviously I'm good with finding things that are functional for my house that's why I have very little decor and I like to put into other things what interests me is having a successful and long life where I don't have to struggle because I know I've been on I've been in both positions so I understand it anyway this was a rant I don't know I hope that made sense I need to make some food it's literally about to be bedtime JJ and I just ate dinner we had roast mashed potatoes green beans good stuff one of my favorite meals and I am winding down just clean the kitchen I cleaned the living room up today vacuumed the couch and whatnot and then also obviously did all the normal like chores in the house but I'm literally just trying to cure myself from whatever this random throat soreness is because my voice is normal the only thing is that it hurts to swallow and I'm not sure what the heck that is I'm sure by the time you guys see this I'll be cured I did get some Amazon packages in this stuff is actually for the trip that I'm going on on Monday to Lani so I got like these shoes I got a couple of tops I don't know they're very random very bright that's why my nails this color as you can see it basically matches all of that you guys will see that soon enough but retiring I gotta grab Bronx out of the backyard and I'm going nighty night night good morning I'm in my gym fit, about to head to the gym. I think that I'm gonna do upper body, possibly. I haven't given it that much thought. All I cared about was getting my outfit on. Look at her, so cute. You might be wondering why are you wearing green and gray? Cause my shoes. These are the ones that I showed you guys yesterday. Love them, so cute. The chunky lace is so weird, but I just ate hash browns, turkey bacon, eggs, had my greens, had my chlorophyll, all of that good stuff. And I'm feeling ready to go. Also took my because my ADHD has just been a wire lately and with that I literally like never have an appetite So I've really focused on making sure I'm getting a good amount of food and otherwise I'm gonna be ultra focused today So we love to hear that but let's head out just a bit 
see you at the gym I swear i do these morning little vlogs on tiktok just like a get ready with me for the gym and if you guys don't follow me on tiktok definitely do because it's basically my spam account and it's a good time and then i post my mic ups more so over there i'm gonna take a little bit of pre-workout mine of course and then we'll be all good to go here's the thing i don't know if any other content creators maybe you guys anybody that's not a content creator too i will talk to myself regardless of if i'm filming <laughs> of if I'm filming or not and I'll catch myself like I literally just sat here and I was like okay so I'm gonna and I was like let me turn on my camera because how embarrassing I still don't know what workout I'm doing but we're gonna we're gonna figure that out quick when we get in there Okay, I just finished my workout and now I'm at my P.O. box because I got a notification that I had a package here Which usually comes from you guys and that's always exciting. This is basically a weapon because if anybody tries me You're getting socked babes. Anyway, you guys uh, Thank you so much for letting us send this set. We hope you love it milk stain team <gasps> Look at this card! Uh, guys, I have chills. This makes me so happy. This is from Milk Stain Apparel. Stop it right now. How precious is this? <gasps> Those candy hearts are literally my favorite. Cute little set. I'm gonna open this and probably try this on. I might just wear this today when I get home, to be honest. I've got to get a new tripod because this poor thing, she's not doing well. Honestly, are like the softest joggers they're so thick milk right here in a little patch oh and it has the milk right here on the arm thank you so much to milk stain i am so grateful and i'm so excited to throw this on for the day cutest little fit you guys know i'm a sucker for a good sweatsuit she's precious and so comfy these are kind of high-waisted i would say and they're they're a pretty good length on me jj is singing in the shower i have the same 90s 60s on that i wore to the gym Ugh. Quick outfit. After he finishes singing, I think that we're gonna go eat at one of these Houston hotspots. I follow like a million pages online. Instead of going into Houston to go somewhere, we went to Mod Pizza. And I've been there one time before and then I just got it recently in Kansas and I had my dad try it and he was such a fan. So then we were passing it to literally just go to Chick-fil-A because our stomachs were touching our backs and we were ready to eat. JJ was like, oh, that's the mod you were talking about. I said, oh my gosh, skirt. So, so we went there. JJ, he's making fun of Bronx so they just let him out. He gets so jealous. He's so jealous. This is my girlfriend. He's watching from the window and he's livid. Ah ha 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 ha, Bronx. I had to get some more boba, so I got a brown sugar. Milk tea. I did ask for mini pearls, but unfortunately they were out, so I just got double regular. You know you try and you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. You sometimes you fall. Anytime that I start recording Bronx is like I have to talk about it and he's silent every other second of the day I have spent the most time upstairs editing and doing just all kinds of work stuff on the computer and I'm tired My eyes can't take it anymore. I'm about to start packing because I go out of town tomorrow morning to go to Palm Springs with Alana I figure I might as well just bring you guys along throughout my week because I'll be there for a few days Rather than just cutting the vlog short here because y'all like the longer vlog So I'm here to provide do not fret I actually moved a bunch of my sneakers from my closet here in our bedroom downstairs to my office upstairs So if you guys follow me on TikTok, I went through like some of my most commonly worn ones my newer ones all of that i will link that video in the description if you guys want to go watch it on tiktok i am debating if i need to take carry-on suitcase or if i should take my large suitcase i would love to just take my carry-on but the thing is i think because i'm bringing like hair products and things like that it's over the little fluid ounce limit so i'm probably gonna have to end up bringing my large suitcase i just hate waiting at baggage claim but i will make do i think that i left off like cleaning this morning and then I think that my camera died and I never showed you guys my steam mop. Let me show it to you. I feel like I was intending to tell you guys all about me deep cleaning today, but that just like did not happen. Of course, I vacuumed my floor and everything. I used my little Tenneco for that and I love her. I have heard so many people say that the Dyson vacuum like isn't worth it. Once they've had the Dyson vacuum and used another type of vacuum, 
I'm not trying to start beef. I also don't want to pay hundreds of dollars for a vacuum, but I do think that the Dyson must be amazing. I'm not going to lie, but if that's like the first vacuum you get, I think that's the only thing you can base it off of. Anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about my steam mop, okay? This thing is amazing because it gets everything off of my ground, no matter how long it's been there or what it is. Literally one little pass and it's this thing basically self-propels, so it'll be all around the ground on its own. So there's these two little sides and they spin on their own. They rotate at the same time, opposite direction spitting at the steam. I love using this in my bathroom tiles. I love using this on my hardwood floors. Well, I guess it's like laminate floors. Is that right? Shark steam and scrub. Before I retire for the night, I wanted to walk you guys through what I'm packing with me and what I typically take with me depending on the type of trip. But since I will have to do my own hair and makeup, this is what I bring. So this is one of my little travel bags. It has a bunch of things in here. Micellar water, little cotton rounds, my Fenty lotion, my Frenchie lotion, Olaplex oil, my shampoo, my curl cream, and then my anti-humidity gel, basically everything that I need to do my curls. And then I have little hair accessories. So baby clips, elastics, bobby pins, that type of thing. And I have this, which this is my OG travel bag, you guys. I got this when we were traveling to Greece, what, two years ago now? I love it. It's a men's toiletry bag. It unfolds. There's so many zippers. It's amazing. And I just hook it onto whatever hotel bar I am next to. I usually don't close my suitcase until the morning that I'm leaving because I use all the same products before I go to bed. So I have all of my skincare guys are right here and they will go in my black bag. But my retainers, since I'll use them tonight, I'll take them out in the morning, pack them in here and then throw them in my suitcase. What else am I taking? That's a great question. Um, In order to get my curls the way that I want them to look, I have to bring my Dyson. Ever since I figured out the little hack to like, put your duvet cover and your duvet together, I feel like my life has changed and I've become a better person. Let's just start with the inside out, which is what really confused me. Give me shake. And there you go. Fresh new linen bedding. Yeah. Here we are. Our favorite place to be together. The girls room. It's like 6.30. Got up at 6, showered. Need to just get dressed. And I need to make my tea and throw this bag into my suitcase and I should be ready to go. It's like an hour drive right now. Sister does have TSA pre, so that's a good time. It's so hard for me to get out of bed. My house is just freezing at night. <laughs> I just caught Bronx red-handed curled up on the couch. Airport fit. She's here! You guys, first of all, I have hearing loss right now. I'm pretty sure my drainage uh, has now moved to my ears so I can't hear anything and everything is very muffled inside of my head and I can't really hear anything outside of my head. So I love that for me. Let's go outside. <gasps> There's the golf course. Bye, this is so cute. Oh, is that my neighbors? It's been decided I need food more than anything on earth right now and I don't have room service here so I can't just order and they deliver something to me. I thought that you could, but apparently not. I did wake up at 5 a.m. today to start getting ready. I had to get in the shower, shave my whole body, and then do my hair. And you know, my hair takes a long time. I don't know if it's gonna cooperate today. <laughs> Fit one for me in a Jazzy, and it's only 7.40 in the morning. Welcome to the girls' room. The same it's vlog. The same vlog. Motivation. Day one. Wrap. Done. And Snack dusted. Hall. Snack haul. Nuts. Salah. Salah. <laughs> Big bowl. So who y'all look like, where did that even come from? <laughs> There's so many vehicles here. here. We have to move the Lincoln. There's the, the cute little Bronco. Lincoln girls. We got Hunter over here in the G. Look at Meg. Big Daddy Lincoln drivers. Hey tech. So I can confirm that today was the longest day of possibly my entire life. It's probably the longest feeling shoot day ever. Oh, 
Yeah. Somebody get me a new tripod. We just took our little group pit. Family pit. Cheers. Cheers. We're really good at that at this point. So you get the Bronco yet, right? Mm. That's hitting. That's really good, actually. All right. The whole Lonnie team with all six million cars stuck in this, so we're gonna deal with that later. What? I found a random car to sit in because there's so many, and I'm so chronically cold and my legs are freezing that I've decided to just hop in and turn on the seat heater. Seriously, has broke. died, you guys. This is so crazy. I don't even know who was driving that thing, but she dead, she gone. Triple A's on the way. They put me in the driver's seat. I don't know. Our next spot is this Airbnb in Joshua Tree. There's a Jazzy. Now we have to let everybody in. Save you. There we go. This is gonna be really fun to get out of my hair. We're wraps because of the neighbor. The neighbor had issues with we can give them parts. They didn't like POCs, and that's real sad. Hair. You did amazing. So Dig Dug or whatever, his little thing. Dug Dim and Dog? back at our hotel. Jazzy and I ordered food and it just got delivered. I think we're all out of fuel anyway. I don't know. What were we... Okay. My throat is dry. And we've just been sitting here scrolling on our phones in silence, For but together. And I'm just grabbing my stuff. I'm gonna head back over to my room. We'll reconvene in the morning and then we will be heading home. You ready to be home? We head home. Some quality time so we can then be on the same airplane. A moment. We brought our stuff. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We have the road to ourselves. We're not playing with these people. We're not playing with these people out here. Somebody had a crazy cough. I just heard the nastiest cough of my life. It sounded like. <laughs> no way, no. Hello, ready, you guys. Had a happy boy, a happy boy. I missed you, I missed you. I missed you so much. I missed you, I missed you, my baby. Love you so much. Right now, I just hopped out of the shower, and JJ is at the store grabbing stuff for dinner. We're making Alfredo. He asked me to put a boiling pot of water on the stove, so I did that. I'm gonna go do my skincare, but I had a few deliveries that came when I was gone. And then I got a birthday present from Gymshark, and it's from Crate and Barrel. The back patty. Does it just sit like this? If so, that's so cute, and it's huge. Oh boy. I need to look this up. But I feel like my back cup is just really wide. Hey, this could work. This could be a moment. It's actually really cute. Started to watch the new season of You, but I'm about to head to bed so I can wake up refresh tomorrow. I have to say this is the greatest thing to come home to is a perfectly made bed, perfectly clean house. Perfectly clean, okay? I did forget to turn the TV off. That's why I'm still out here. We made dinner. I love that guy so much. Since I'm heading into the city, I'm just gonna bring an outfit with me. This is what I'm wearing right now. It's the Whitney zip up. And then I have the rest day seamless in this chocolate brown and then my APL so I can wear these to work out. And I think that's everything. I literally need to bring my camera batteries because they're going to die if I don't. I need to get my SD card from my backpack. Okay, I'm in this boba spot with Peyton. She's inside and I'm here obviously so boba has been acquired i just sat in there for a little bit and chatted it up with peyton we went to the boba shop who's over here in spring i just decided to drive out here towards her because she literally just landed i think i have a call so i'm going to take it in the car 
and then I will end up going and probably grabbing a little bit of food or maybe just hanging out with Brittany in a little bit. She has her event tomorrow, so I think I might pop by for that because Peyton just invited me to it. We'll see how that goes. I'm downtown now, and this is so funny because I literally just grabbed Boba with Peyton, as you guys know, and I drove downtown after I took a little call in my car. I'm just gonna grab some food with Britt, and I'm geeked out. She's with Peyton, who is also her Gymshark manager. <laughs> so we're all three just about to eat, and I should have just drove Peyton here. So funny to me. done eating had myself some sweet green we were just talking for literally a couple of hours so i'm about to brave the streets and get back to my side of houston ootd i'm going to the gym i didn't get to yesterday because we just got so caught up doing things and it lasted forever the outfit that i chose for yesterday though so i just have a gym shark long sleeve tee on i think that this is from the men's section and then i have the wet seamless shorts and sports bra with the little contour here this bra is like the v-neck trend bra and then a lot more high-waisted but with no torso I have to roll them down otherwise I'm wearing my numbers let's go I'm at my PO box right now but I realize like whipping my camera out that I need to get a new tripod because I just got rid of the other one I literally have not used it it is done for it it can't stay up anymore and this is a tiny camera for it to hold so I need to go get a new one I'm thinking I might just try to find a best buy yeah, I was sitting inside for probably like 20 minutes because they couldn't find my package. Libby! These are the best. I love getting mail from you guys. My thoughts and writing them. So I made you a video that can be viewed at the link below. Eli Bart custom gifts and decorations. <gasps> oh my gosh. Shut up. It's miniature. Oh my gosh. These are all of the Colleen Hoover books. Stop, Verity! It ends with us. It has the entire back, you guys. Stop. This is so cool. Seven husbands. Uh, wait. You guys, she went down my Goodreads and literally made little books of every book that I have read on there. Look at your tug. Mr. Girl is back home. I am going to go upstairs and finish some computer work that I have to do. Tomorrow is Sunday, so I think that I might start a brand new vlog tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. JJ and I just had a little bit of food. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're enjoying the longer vlogs. I know that this spanned quite a long time, so let me know your input and your feedback on that, but I've been enjoying just picking up my vlog camera and bringing you guys along with me, but I do want to do a couple new sit-down videos, so I definitely want to do a favorites video soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Also, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video with me. I think we're at 99,900 right now. If you guys subscribe, you will be one of the first 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching. And keep up with me every single day on Instagram and TikTok at Libby Christensen and I will talk to you guys later.